7 Tips for Using Social Media as a Weirdo If you're running a business stroke brand page on social media and you're concerned about its growth, stop worrying. There are billions of people who are active on social media, which means this is the best place to increase awareness and exposure of your brand or business, as long as you're using proper social media strategies. In this tutorial, we'll explain 7 tips for using social media as a weirdo to increase awareness and exposure of your brand. Whether you're launching a new brand or running a new business on social media, the best place to get started is with SMART goals. This acronym stands for Simple, Measurable, Achievable, Realistic, Time Bound. If your goals do not fit within these parameters, you must revisit them. Choose your platform carefully. Another useful tip is to carefully choose your social media platform. Over time, there are new, better platforms being established, which can make it hard to choose. However, choosing the one with the largest population of your target demographic is a great place to start. This will help you increase your follower account on other platforms. Know about target demographic and take appropriate steps. Once you've set your SMART goals and you've chosen your platform, you want to consider your target demographic and get all the information you can about them. This is who will determine whether your brand or business is successful. Pay close attention to the posts that they engage with and the content they are interested in, as well as the platform where they are most active. This will help you find out a lot so that you can create more engaging content and therefore increase your visitor and follower count. Increase follower count with a winning game plan. Research has proven that when you create stroke follow strategies for your social media platforms, you're more likely to be successful than those that do not. Therefore, you must take the time to learn and implement as many social media strategies as you can come up with to make your dreams come true. Here are a few things to consider. Highlight upcoming events stroke festivals. Create custom hashtags for your posts. Follow a theme and make it interesting for your audience. Make sure your audience is engaged on your campaigns, trends and features. Utilize helpful tools on social media platforms. One of the ways you can grow on social media platforms is to use the tools that are available to you. As mentioned previously, pay attention to the actions and behaviors of your target audience. Of course, it's not always feasible to stay up all night to wait until your followers are online. Therefore, use a contact scheduler so that your content can be posted at the time you choose without you having to lose sleep. Use the storytelling method. Research has shown that one of the most effective ways to spur people to act on something is through storytelling. People believe in stories stroke experiences that are packed with emotion, which will increase your brand awareness, which also makes your brand grow. Additionally, storytelling builds an emotional attachment, which helps your audience relate to your stories. Implement emote icons. Emote icons are a great way to increase engagement on your content and deliver the appropriate meaning to your audience. People are able to understand the tone, direction and nature of your content. In the world of social media, plain text looks boring. Conclusion These tips may seem a bit on the simple side, but they are highly effective for helping you learn to use social media as a weirdo. Sure, you'll have to put some time and effort into them, but there's nothing in the world that comes easy. The results that you achieve will be completely worth it in the long run. 10 Inspirational Quotes for and by Weird People Unfortunately, weirdness, or uniqueness, is something that most people in the world simply don't know how to appreciate. Most people are more comfortable around conventional or normal people. After all, this seems to be the much safer choice. However, eccentricity is often synonymous with authenticity and a strong sense of self-confidence. 
Often, we hide the best parts of ourselves because we're afraid that others are going to reject or misunderstand us. After all, it's happened, either to us or to people that we know, and sometimes at a very young age. Part of the human condition is the desire to be liked and to conform to the box we're supposed to be in. At some point, there comes a time when we realize that we don't want people to like us for something or someone we're not. This is the point where you learn to embrace your weirdness and learn to appreciate your unique self, flaws and all. In this presentation, we'll provide you with 10 inspiration quotes for and by weird people that will encourage you to be yourself, no matter how weird you may seem to others. In nature, nothing is perfect. Trees can be contorted, bent in weird ways, and they're still beautiful. Alice Walker be weird, be random, be who you are because you never know who would love the person you hide. Unknown. There's no such thing as a weird human being. It's just that some people require more understanding than others. Tom Robbins. I'd rather be weird and happy than normal and miserable. Suzanne Colasanti. I don't see myself as weird. I just see myself as honest. Tori Amos. I like weird people. The black sheep, the odd ducks, the rejects, the eccentrics, the loners, the lost and forgotten. More often than not, these people have the most beautiful souls. Unknown. I am convinced that the only people worthy of consideration in this world are the unusual ones. For the common folks are like the leaves of a tree and live and die unnoticed. L. Frank Baum. I think everyone's weird. We should all celebrate our individuality and not be embarrassed or ashamed of it. Johnny Depp All forms of madness, bizarre habits, awkwardness in society, general clumsiness are justified in the person who creates good art. Roman Payne Blessed are the weird people, poets, misfits, writers, mystics, painters, troubadours, for they teach us to see the world through different eyes. Jacob Nordby Conclusion. You must learn to embrace your weirdness. Sure, not everyone is going to fall in love with who you are, and that's perfectly okay. Not everyone has to like you. The only thing that matters is that you learn to like yourself and be true to yourself. Don't ever let anyone get you down. Debunking five common myths about weirdness. There are five self-beliefs that have an impact on your performance. If you ever find yourself thinking or believing any of these, be careful. On the other hand, if you do hold any of these beliefs, you can be optimistic because beliefs can be changed. In this presentation, we're going to debunk five common myths about weirdness. This will help you become aware of what needs to change and understand how your behavior is influenced by your motives. Success is determined by how you compare with others. When it comes to our personal and professional agendas, we all set our own standards of excellence. We compare ourselves to our past achievements. We compare ourselves to objective standards. We compare ourselves to other people. These comparison points determine our goals. I cannot obtain happiness. Many people believe that their weirdness will keep them from obtaining happiness, no matter what they're trying to do. They believe that they're just as likely to find a unicorn in the White House. However, it is possible to achieve happiness. Here's what you must do. Figure out your values. Understand that attaining certain goals isn't the answer. I'm not in control of the world. According to Carol Dweck, a psychologist, we have one of two primary viewpoints that affect how we interact with the world. We believe that. We can change and grow with personal effort. Or... We are at the mercy of the world, unable to influence our own destiny. My skill stroke ability is extraordinary. A survey from 2018 indicated that 73% of nearly 3,000 college-educated Americans believed that they were above average intelligence. Unfortunately, skill inflation is a major issue in the workplace. A college graduate will show up for a job thinking they can do it when, in reality, they're not even close to being prepared. In addition to derailing your career, overconfidence in your skills makes you seem hopeless because you have no clue that your performance is subpar. When you're in a professional environment, you may have a hard time recognizing the obvious and instead of trying to improve, you just keep looking for validation for your own beliefs while ignoring information that conflicts them. 
It's my motivational type. As humans, we have a voracious desire to try to find the reason for certain behaviors, outcomes, and events. If something doesn't work out right, we want to know who caused it and why it happened. If something does work out perfectly, we snatch up credit and then try to find out how and why it was a successful outcome, so that it can be repeated in the future. We also enjoy not expending cognitive effort when we can. Why should we think stroke reason if it's possible to generalize? This pattern of seeking causes an event, and also resting our brain causes us to label others based on certain characteristics and traits. We use labels to justify our identities and behaviors. Labeling ourselves and others becomes an issue that leads to inaccurately branding others for several reasons. For example, though some consultant stroke authors would like you to believe it, there is actually no such thing as fixed motivation. Though you might exhibit some dominant motivations, your behaviors actually change with the situation. When we generalize, we assume that everyone that falls under that certain label have the same motivations. They really don't. Sometimes a person is labeled, and they act the way they are labeled because that's what they think is expected. Conclusion: If you find that you have any of these weird thoughts or behaviors, don't stress too much over it. The truth is, when you become aware of it and decide that you want to change, you'll be able to. Hopefully, this has helped you to debunk five common myths about weirdness.